This is Tyler from First Updates. Now I'm here at the Seven Rivers Regional, team number 2826, Wave Robotics. My old team, we're going to talk a little bit more about their cool robot on behind the bumpers. I'm here with Evan, Mercedes, and Annabelle. And Annabelle, I want to start with you. You guys have a pretty fantastic climber. It's been a sub three second climber. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, so we have a level three climber. It's a four bar, so it'll extend underneath the base of our robot. This gear mechanism right here deploys it, and uh, we switched to the two gears back here because at first we just had one and then the gear stripped, so now it's got plenty of support. So yep, that'll, under, that'll um, deploy right underneath our robot for less than three seconds to climb. So as I mentioned, that's been very successful. It's been cool to see uh, Way be very successful in that as well, too. So Mercedes, uh, the elevator here, uh, very impressive as well, too. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so we use a very similar to a design for elevator from last year. Um, it's instead of a two-stage elevator like last year, we use a three-stage, and it's continuous. Um, and we have a lot of set positions for every level of the rocket and the cargo ship. So it just it goes up and stays at the position that we want it, so we don't lose the cargo or the hatch. Awesome to see, and uh, Evan, let's uh, start to wind up here a little bit. You guys speaking about whining, you have this continuous intake that doesn't seem to ever want to stop uh, here. So let's talk a little bit about the intake and what's going on with that. Yeah, so we have it always running so that when we have a hatch, we don't lose it. So this comes down, and then that we suck the hatch on, on, the, on the, in the center of the hatch, and then we deploy, then we change the position, and we can suck in a ball too. So we're really proud that we have a two-in-one intake. So how does, can you show me a little bit on here, like where does it actually intake a hatch from? How does that work exactly? This comes down and then it goes up and we suck the hatch in, in the center circle. Awesome scene. Last thing I kind of want to wrap up with here, I just noticed this uh, a little bit ago. You guys got this pretty cool uh, 3D model uh, here of the field. I'm assuming you're used to this for strategy, but Annabelle, why don't you tell us a little bit about this? So this is our strategy board. Our driver's 11-year-old brother printed all these fe- uh, field elements for us. And so we just, ru- like whenever we play with other teams, write their numbers down, we can move the little robots to strategize. <laughs> And Annabelle, last thing I want to ask you is actually this thing on your carabiner that you have here, the uh, Bat Hawks they have. Have you guys used these at competition uh, before and how have they been successful for you? These are from Andy Mark, and we really like to use them because they're small, and you can just stick them into the battery and check the voltage quick. It's really nice and efficient. So if you haven't had the chance to check those out, we give away lots of those on First Updates Now. Thanks to our friends at Team 1720 Fixed Gears. But this has been Team Number 2826 here at the Seven Rivers Regional. Guys, good luck the rest of the competition season. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.